I did it. I did it. The same thing happened to my, uh, my, my first time keyboard too. Yeah. And, and what I had to do, I, I, I gazed on it. What's good, y'all? Uh, back with another video. Anyways, we're about to head out to the gym. I'm feeling very motivated. Cause like, I don't know. After I like see my friends and stuff, I feel very, very, what's the word? Like driven to get shit done. Oh my God, Loki a fat ass. Anyways, I'm already sweating before I left the house. You already saw for my breakfast, I had like 700 calories of like Alfredo and chicken and then Two and a half cups of the milk and then that gatorade i didn't drink it because like i was already full from the milk and alfredo it was kind of crazy and i'm low-key like breaking out the whole my face is breaking out a lot because i've been eating like junk for the past month or so i've been eating like taco bell jack in the box yeah i don't want to i don't want to really talk about it but i need to get my diet in check i'm not gonna lie I realized by the time I go to the meet, I'll be 19. So there's no way I can compete in sub junior. I'll have to compete in junior no matter what. Cause my birthday's in November and then I compete in December. And yeah, I'll, I'll be back home from college for like winter break or whatever. But now I have summer school tomorrow. I'll still have to take my bike to the dealership tomorrow for the service. I'm not, not trading it, but anyways. About the workout, today we got primary bench, I think pause squat and temple squat. I don't want to do that like at all, but we do have a single on squat, which I'm excited for. I, I love hitting singles. Anything that's above like three reps, I just don't look forward to doing it, which is basically everything except the singles in this program. And yeah, let's, let's head to the gym. Let's go. So I'm about to finish up my ghost. At HB, I got it for like three for six. Uh, and yeah, honestly, extremely motivated. I don't want what happened last time during the workout, like me feeling lightheaded, like basically dying. So I'm gonna try to drink like more water, stay hydrated. I've been like sipping on water for the past few days. And yeah, for the bulk, I've been pooping like four times a day. It's kind of crazy, kind of kind of weird. Anyways, about the thing about like parking far from the gym so you get more steps in. It's hot as hell outside, bro. Oh my God. It's like a hundred degrees. I'd rather do like 30 more minutes. Okay. Four more minutes of cardio than instead of walking that far to my car. So I'll, I'll park relatively close to the gym. I'm about to get this workout on. I'm gonna try to warm my rear delts. I'll do like face pulls and then like some band extensions and then bench relatively a lot of people here. So I'm probably not gonna get the bench. So it's good to just warm up while I wait. Alright, sorry if you can hear like the outside noise. Um, I left my window open because my dog pissed on the floor. Anyways, this is our single for the week, or comp single. It's 185 for one at RP7. Moved pretty well. This is like the only time you'll see me in shorts, by the way. So, um, enjoy it, I guess, if you're into that. So, after for our back down stunts of comp bench, we had 165 for a 3x3. Three three. Pretty light. Of course, um, the farther away you get from the camera, the smaller you're gonna look. That's why my hands and arms look tiny, because I'm recording at a point five. The camera's basically inside of me. Pause. I think, right? I mean, not 
pause that way. Pause as in like no diddy. We're doing pause bunch after this. Don't worry. I didn't record all the pause bunch. This, by the way, guys. Um, I felt small, and I was like, "Am I really gonna record me really pause benching 155 for three for three sets?" And I said, "No, I'm not gonna do that. Okay, I'm gonna do it for one set, and this is the only set you're gonna see." All right. Moving on to the squats. This is our comp squat single at 245. I actually put the bar height, so it felt extremely comfortable. No wrist pain, no back pain. Just, oh my. Yeah, that's also RP7. I think it, it moved pretty well. I'm not gonna lie. I liked how that moved. So now we have comp squat with another 3x3 three three at 215. That's pretty good. I moved the bar, not bar, I moved my belt a bit higher because once I hit depth, the lever actually digs into my legs. So, I also had to widen my stance a tad. Whoa. I still don't like how my knees are traveling so far forward. I'd like them to stop a little bit short and then me just hinge down. You know, get to where they need to be and then go. Also move my grip um, a bit more in, so my pinky is on the ring. I have long arms, but that grip is like really comfortable. I, my back is really tight, and you see at this angle, this is low bar, but not super low bar, not like French low bar. French low bar, it, it is where the bar will sit on your mid traps instead of the top of your adults. I can't do that because I don't have the mobility for that. I'm a very stiff person. Another set. If I'm not mistaken, these are the pause squats. Yep, I don't know why I tempo squatted it, but it's a pause squat for a uh, count of two, and then you pause for one second. So, what's like a pause squat? Nothing crazy. We move down to 205 for this, and I didn't think I'd be able to pause this weight, honestly. Uh, I would struggle a lot more. Like last week, I, was, I literally almost failed on the last pause squad run, but for all of these, I did pretty well. But for the last set, I may or may not have forgot to pause on the first one. So I just comp squatted it. Y you can see the fatigue settling in for sure. Like it's taking me a lot longer to set up and get the set started because your CNS is just going to hold you back when you're doing so many combo movements and so many sets. This is the set I was talking about. Well, I forgot to pause the first one. And I'm like, bro, what are you doing? Oh, never mind. It's the next set. I'm sorry about that. Anyways, the workout for today was pretty easy. Pauses felt great. I, uh, I like squatting, and I actually found my form. My true form is what it feels like. Although I might have all this equipment on, and I'm so weak as weather. Oh jeez, almost crashed. Anyways, um, I just went to cycle gear. They didn't have the quad lock. I swear, bro, if this person talks, so I'm actually about to crash out. Anyways, I got the a stem mount instead. I got this, so it just like grips the phone. I hope it works, cause I have a pretty big phone. I. If it doesn't work, then oh well. I'm gonna install it myself, because if I go to the actual like dealership and ask them to install it for me, they're gonna charge me like $50. I'm like, bro, I can, I could have just done that myself. And it's always good to like install yourself so if something goes wrong, you know like how to redo it. And I just don't wanna spend money. I already spent like, like $60 on this. That's crazy, bro. It's like plastic too. It's not like metal or anything. But yeah, I wanted the quad lock and then I realized you have to buy a new phone case every time you want to, or if you switch your phone, you have to buy a new phone case. Um, every time you want to use the quad lock. In half a mile, so, take a slight left turn. It's about a uh, 30 minute drive home. It's similar to when I went to the mall to get my ID Power 3s. Similar distance, I guess. It's literally in the same spot, it's in Katy. And tomorrow in the morning, I actually have to wake up at like 8.30 to go drop off my bike for service as well. Use the left oh. lane to take a slight left turn towards State Highway 99 South. So, I hope this doesn't say my address because ah, I could just cut that out. Anyways, we're about to get on the freeway. There's... Take a slight left turn 
I'm about to crash out, bro. Anyways, so we're about to get Taco Bell. It's gonna say something. I'm like, I think it's about to say something. So we're about to get Taco Bell. Surprisingly, Cycle Gear actually had motorcycles in the dealership. It was crazy. Four point seven miles. Take the exit onto FM ten ninety three. I saw like a ZX ten RST four uh, GSX like seven fifty. Those are pretty sick, but nothing. Not better than my S one K. I'm not going. It's not personal bias or anything, you know. Like I for sure don't. Have, oh my god! I actually took the exit because I have. I am a very smart person. Not really. Hey, uh, my summer school starts tomorrow. I, or in two days? I'm not sure. I want to get a head start, so I want to start doing assignments today. So I don't have to stress out about them. Okay, this is like 36 hours of reading per week for class. So that's kind of cooked. A lot of work. Yeah, it's kind of sad because then, what should I call it? I can't play games until like 5 a.m. anymore. I actually have to wake up at like normal times because like due dates are actually at normal times. You know, and we're in reality, I do all my work at like 3 a.m. before uh, when due dates were like in school. But now due dates, since it's an online class, it's like at normal times. Yeah. Regarding the Taco Bell, we're doing a mukbang. You already know, I'm ordering like. $18 worth of food. If I finish it, let's go. If I don't, then I'm gonna feel really bad. I so normally what I get, what do I get? Uh, it changes a lot. I get like a lot of stuff from the value menu because that's actually value, I'm not gonna lie. I get the three cheese chicken wrap or whatever it's called, chicken melt, uh, uh, chicken enchilada burrito, a chicken quesadilla, a Baja Blast. Well, I get this number seven combo. Don't ask me how I know what number it is. It's, uh, I'm pretty sure it's the quesadilla combo. I'm not actually 100% on that. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's, it's somewhere. It's either the quesadilla combo or the nacho thing. Nacho bell. Yeah, nacho bell grande. I would get the crunch wrap, but like, oh, I could actually try that. I can get the crunch wrap combo and then put chicken instead of beef. Does Taco Bell beef? I don't know, it just doesn't sit right in my stomach. Taco Bell chicken though, oh my god, like that that's so good, bro. But at the same time, I want nacho fries. So I'll probably get the large nacho fries, the crunch wrap combo, uh, chicken enchilada burrito, and uh, three cheese chicken and flatbread milk. That's what it's called, flatbread milk. And that'll be about like, let's calculate it, crunch wrap supreme. Contrast Supreme, maybe 15 grams of protein, chicken on top burrito, 12, uh, chicken flatbread milk, 20. So that's a good like 49 grams of protein. I think that's pretty sick. What else? Um, and the chicken in, ch in the Supreme Taco, that's good like eight. So about like 59, 58 grams of protein. And I've already eaten like 60 before the workout. So that means I just have to take a protein shake at the end of the day. And then boom, I'll be at like 180 grams. And then we'll actually have our macros finished. I might be a fat ass like talking about food, but that shit just makes me happy, bro. I love food, but I don't like when I eat so much that my stomach just starts hurting. Anyways, I'll take this exit in a mile. But I'm pretty excited for the upcoming days. I'm actually excited to do some work for school. Because it feels like in summer, the only thing I've been doing, like, that's been good for me is just going to the gym, uh, restarting my social medias and stuff, and actually posting on there. That's, like, the only productive, that's the word I'm looking for, productive thing that I have been doing. Yeah, I'm going to save the rest of the footage for the mukbang. I don't want this video to be over, like, 25 minutes. I'm not sure if this is one lane or two, but how much died. Send it right here. All right, y'all. All right, we're here with the mukbang. I'm gonna show y'all what what I got. My oh, reading my headphone, not bro. Oh, my titties are out. Sorry, I am a bit overweight at the moment, or I weigh more than I would like to. I weighed in <laughs> like 180. Yeah, because I've been eating so much and drinking so. Not drinking alcohol, bro. Calm down. Drinking 
so much water and like so much milk and so many like liquid calories that I've been getting pretty chubby, you know? I did my 20 minutes of cardio today, so that's good. I actually didn't skip that. So I got the fire sauce, the best Taco Bell sauce. A large nacho fry. Y'all probably want to see this, right? But I'm going to try to point it down. I, I really can't. Hopefully you can't hear the vibration on my computer. Oh my god, my neck hurts. Pause. I got the Supreme Taco and Chicken. The Chicken Enchilada Burrito. The cheese for the nacho fries. And then... The chicken quesadilla. I got everything in chicken because I don't really like Taco Bell beef. Oh, oh, I don't mess with it. There's the rest of that. So now I'm going to put on a YouTube video. I don't know if I should actually like... Y'all want to look at me... Um, look at me eat. Let me know because in the next video I'll do that. But I'm going to just go ahead and time lapse this. Anyways, I just finished the large nacho fry. Let me go ahead and put that in the bag. Next, okay, I always do the nacho fry first, taco, burrito, and then the quesadilla. That's just how I do things. I don't know. This is not a taco. And then, of course, you have to have the fire sauce. If you don't have the fire sauce, then like, something wrong with you, bro. This is a uh, chicken taco supreme, I think. Let's get it. So I just finished. I'm still chilling, but I don't care. Fish the taco, the chicken out. Now, the main, the main course, my love, my chicken quesadilla, I miss you, what, alright, yeah. I think I'm in love, you know, who needs a relationship partner when you like Taco Bell, bro? I all I need is a large Baja Blast and like twelve dollars. Then I can be happy. Oh, I just got chills from that. What? Oh, it's earthquake. Sorry. Anyways. So, I, uh, oh, well, that was actually a lot of food. I shouldn't have got the nacho fry, but you can't go to Taco Bell and then not get the nacho fry. You know what I'm talking about? My forehead isn't this big, usually. Calm down. There you go. It is, I had a bowl cut um, when I didn't put the headband on, but when I take the headband off, the bowl cut doesn't show. So now I have to go install my stem mount on the bike. I need a haircut. I don't like having my hair that long. Cause like when I'm benching and shit and stuff, it gets in my face. The longer it gets, the easier it looks like, looks for it to, uh, that I have a bowl cut and I don't like that. I like the length right now, but like maybe the size. Anyways, probably end the video here. Let me know if I should do an actual mukbang. Is this for, like a mini one? Sped run, a speed run mukbang. I'll probably like title it that, but thanks for watching. Means lost me. Uh, like and subscribe if you want. It doesn't matter to me.